South Africans, my country people. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, well done to the Progressive Caucus. Uh, of course, uh, the SONA uh, debates was very, very interesting. And I must salute, you know, Honorable Fidel from uh, the NCC uh, uh, movement or political party. You know, first of all, honestly speaking, he spoke with passion. He spoke from the heart. And you can tell that he is really there for the people that sent him to be there. Uh, he's out for it uh, without fear no favor. And that's exactly what we're talking about, my people. Because the one thing we need to understand is uh, in this world, there's no neutral ground. Do you understand? It's a spiritual war. That's what I'm talking about. And first of all, of course, uh, let me really, really thank you for recognizing in that parliament, you know, uh, the presence of the MK party president, uh, President Zuma, uh, who was deliberately ignored uh, by the system or the system tried to ignore him while, of course, recognizing the presence uh, of the former president, uh, F.W. De Klerk, uh, of course, the former president of the apartheid region in South Africa. How, how, how ironic uh, can really this uh, GNU government be? They need to learn that you need to give honor to whom honor is due to. And, of course, you understand, um, uh, for him saying that the... The president sonar statement was the, pre uh, the statement or speech of nothingness. And I do concur with him because, uh, I mean, the president spoke about, uh, uh, you know, things like jobs. How many times has Ramaphosa really been talking about jobs? Only on his speeches, but when he took to the street of South Africa uh, to campaign for this past elections, he was so... You know, he could not even hide, he could not even lie. I mean, we saw the president, I'll just uh, mention one incident where a young graduate told him that she has been looking for a job, she can't get a job. He said, continue looking. So which jobs is he talking about? You understand what I'm to say? Uh, and we've never really had Sir Ramaphosa really standing up uh, uh, to making sure that he fights that South Africans get employed in South Africa. And the question has always been, whose agenda is he really share, a, a, a pushing? And one other thing that stood out for me, honestly speaking, is when he asked the president, uh, you know, asking the president if he has actually betrayed the spirit of Solomon Matlangu, he also mentioned if he has uh, uh, betrayed the spirit of Ashley Creel, that what would he say to them? Of course, I will add the, your, your, your Chris Hani. He actually said something very, very profound that the ANC is dead. And that's a fact that the ANC is no more under the leadership of Sir Ramaphosa. And for me, uh, uh, it is what it is. Uh, uh, we've seen Ted and Zilla that it is their mission to make sure that they destroy the ANC. And unfortunately, like Julius Malema said the other time, history will definitely judge the current president harshly. And coming to, you know, Palapala Guptas and VBS, I don't really want to get too much involved in this issue. But my overall view about it all is to say, I don't care who did what and where and when and how. However, people need to be treated equally. The system must not favor others over the other. You know, going back to the words of the former Justice Chief Justice Mohwe Mohwe, where he used to say, it must not be because this one is so and so, we cannot persecute him. And Helen Zilla cannot boldly take a, a podium and tell us because they are in bed with the ANC that Palapala Pala must be wrapped under the carpet. And why are we now singing uh, uh, so loud about the rest? I'm not taking sight. I'm not taking any, I'm not saying anybody must be protected, but people must be treated the same. What's good for one must be good for all. There's so many things that I can say about that. But that's just my view on, on that particular uh, part of uh, his speech. And he also touched on a very, very sensitive issue, which is very, very close to my heart. Uh, my people, the fact of the matter is South Africans are really suffering. We have not seen anything yet because this agenda of the global list is to make sure that the people suffer up until they are completely dependent on them. It is their agenda to make sure that they destroy nations, to make sure that they take the sovereignty, they take away the dignity, the pride, the core values of nations for them to forge ahead their agenda. 
You know, he spoke about what about the suffering of our people, which is a very, very sensitive issue. And this is a topic of very, very top priority for me. You know, and he talked obviously to the uh, to the GNU. His last statement was, we shall overcome. And indeed, my people, I'm just here, you know, it's in the early hours of the morning. I, I get to really spend too much time on my life. But I thought, let me just say big up. Big up, my country people. Indeed, if God be for us, who can be against us, South Africa? We shall overcome. We know the enemy. We have identified the enemy. And indeed, if we stick together, if we work together, because the enemy devices is to divide us so that they continue to rule over us and suppress us. We cannot be living under these conditions as the natives of this nation and we expect to be kept, I mean, to keep quiet. We cannot be expected to be quiet about it because if we remain silent in this season, then deliverance for our people will rise for somewhere else. So I'm so glad to hear all the speeches and a lot of people came to my life to say, fair and good enough, Queen, after the speeches, we need to go to the ground because that's where the matters are really, really high. We might be sitting there, uh, you know, looking all glorious, some of those ministers. But the truth of the matter is the people are hungry. The people are looking for jobs. People are looking for the economical freedom. That is very, very important. So let's roll our sleeves. Let's make sure that we get down to business to save the little bit of dignity that we have. And of course, continue to resist this government of convenient g and u thank you very much mzanti especially if it does not represent their people because they sold us democracy saying that is the government of the people by the people so let it be and let them know and understand that in this g and u also we are still standing on our weights that south africans must be a priority south africans lives must be turned around and they must be given back their dignity and and south africa will be great again I love you, Mzanze. I believe in your future. Your future is bright. Mother of the nations. And congratulations, a comrade Fadel, an honorable Fadel from the NCC. God bless you and good night. Shalom, shalom, mother of the nation. Queen Lebum Kize. Good morning, Mzanze.